Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I wanted to share with you this really cool feature uh, that I just discovered not too long ago, and it's called a uh, Google Wallet. You've probably heard of it before, but not really sure what it is exactly or how it works. And essentially, it's a way for you to manage your payments or make payments uh, uh, for purchases online or in the store. Now, you might already be familiar with making purchases online through Google checkouts or purchasing an app or purchasing something some content from uh, the Play Store but this new uh, feature incorporates or utilizes a piece of technology that's built into some phones not all phones but some phones and that technology is called NFC or near field communication and so essentially what an NFC does is that it allows your device uh, whether it be a phone or maybe a tablet uh, to communicate with another device it could be another phone could be another tablet or it could be this credit card swiping device here and uh, it transfers a little bit of information they have to be in very close proximity transfers a little bit of information just enough uh, to authenticate or to notify the machine um, that the card was present or to debit a card or however it, it works out. I have a couple of couple of ideas or a couple of stuff that I want to show you uh, how it, it, it works exactly but um, essentially the uh, NFC chip on this particular phone is built into the battery and now not all uh, phones have uh, NFC built into it and if you want to check what you want to do is that you can go to your settings here right and then under where it says Wi-Fi and networks there's a button that says more so click on that and then you'll see there that it would uh, say NFC if it doesn't say NFC anywhere on this page uh, then you don't have NFC I'm sorry but uh, it has uh, NFC there and um, it's checked off now your phone might have NFC uh, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you can get Google Wallet. Unfortunately, it's not available on all carriers. Right now, I only know it uh, available or supported by AT&T and I believe Sprint. Um, I think Sprint was actually the first ones to kind of roll out uh, Google Wallet. But anyways, um, so for example, the Galaxy Nexus for the Verizon network, it does not work. Uh, you can't get Google Wallet. There's some like workarounds or maybe some hacks and some mods and stuff like that uh, that you might be able to do, but officially it's not really supported um, through Verizon and the Galaxy Nexus on there. No matter, um, it works on mine. So uh, once you have enabled NFC, you can go ahead and download Google Wallet. And when you start it up, it asks for a PIN number, and you got to type in your PIN number. And or you're gonna create a pin number and right now I don't have any cards associated with my account um, I took them off uh, because I'm gonna have some uh, disposable card on there um, that I would just like load a little bit of money on um, but you don't have to do that I did have my credit card I did have my debit card on there and I'll probably put that on there again uh, just for the purpose of this video I didn't really want to show everybody my my real personal uh, debit cards but you um, press the add button here and then it comes up with some information much like you would be making a purchase online if you ever done that before it's your card number the expiration date the little CVC number that's on the back your name and the zip code and then you click on next and it takes a few minutes uh, preferably try to be on Wi-Fi so that has a good connection so it gets everything set up you only have to do it once right and once you uh, get a card added on there um, you can uh, have that card selected and start making purchases now the two places that I've gone to so far that have this is the uh, 7-eleven and I frequent the 7-eleven quite often and I use it all the time um, and Radio Shack right those are the two places right now and what you're gonna look for is this in the store you're gonna look for this device right here right that's on top of the credit card swiper right and so you need that device and you'll need these uh, look for these symbols here MasterCard PayPass, Google Wallet logo or the uh, little RFID NFC looking deal here and uh, so that's the the device that you're gonna look for uh, when you're at the store there and be ready to have the app running you do need to have the app running and I have a little video here that I want to show you um, of the app not running and 
the purchase not going through so right now it's asking me to pay and it's not going through because the app isn't running but when the app is running and you um, hold it up to there it it reads it you get a little ring and then uh, you get your receipt digitally and a printout and so uh, that's a really cool convenient way um, of also um, saving all of your receipts that you purchase and so that's pretty much a, a short quick demo of that working I definitely want you to uh, try this out see if you have NFC see if you can get Google Wallet for those of you who don't have the uh, GSM version of the Galaxy Nexus and uh, you have another phone and you try this and it works please leave a comment in the um, um, and let me know what phone you had, what carrier it was on, and if this worked or not, and if you think it's cool or if it's too cumbersome and it's easier to just bust out with your card. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it's a pretty cool thing. Um, it uh, is really actually convenient. You just have to start the app, enter in your PIN, and tap it, and you're done, right? So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Oh, and one thing that I forgot to mention uh, before I leave is that it's probably a question that I'm going to get a lot about this sort of thing, and that is, is this uh, whole Google Wallet thing and NFC transferring funds electronically, yada yada, is it all safe, right? And so um, I'm going to say yes, right? I haven't had any problems yet. Uh, if you modify your phone to get this to work on there, if you have a problem and you're on a carrier that's unsupported, you're not going to get any help from them. But um, for the most part, I haven't had any problems. I haven't had any security issues. And one of my um, one of the measures uh, that they take uh, to ensure that it's safe or secure is that they use something called a virtual Mastercard, right? So your card actually gets charged by Google and so the merchant is actually charging Google right so Google is using a virtual MasterCard and if you look here uh, at this uh, sort of this notification here purchases made with your Google Wallet are powered by your Google Wallet virtual card a virtual MasterCard this card is charged by the merchant at the time of your transaction Google Wallet then charges your selected debit or credit card right so it's kind of a layer of protection so that if somebody happened to maybe hook on some device or something or um, is scanning uh, for whatever transactions they're not really going to see your uh, debit or credit card they're actually going to see Google so if somebody were to steal um, your credit card information it's actually would be stealing uh, this virtual MasterCard information, right? So the uh, communication between actually debiting your card is going to come from Google and not necessarily uh, wherever it is you're at making this purchase, right? So that's kind of my understanding of it so far. And uh, with that said, thanks for watching.